and we have a hydrocarbon, usually and most likely that means there's just carbon and hydrogen. So that's what I'll assume unless I'm proved otherwise. There's 0.1888 grams of that, and I know, uh, I'll write up here, it's 134.2 U, that means atomic mass units, is the mass of the molecule itself. That'll help us at the very end of the problem. Okay, this undergoes combustion. Combustion, you always add O2 and you go to CO2 and water. Don't need to balance it, but we do want to write down the masses of each. So this is 0 0.6191 grams, and water is 0 0.177 grams. Okay, so, oh, 774. Okay, so this is a very typical combustion problem, which is a subset of the empirical formula type problem. And uh, because the combustion is involved and I have the mass of CO2 in water, where other kinds of questions, I'm given the mass of elements. Here I have no mass of any particular element, just of molecules, CO2 and water. Okay, so first thing, they want the percent of carbon and the percent of hydrogen. In order to go down that road, what I recommend when you start these problems is find both the mass and moles of carbon and hydrogen. Kind of get us started on the right foot. So uh, we start with uh, CO2, doesn't matter where you start really, Six, 6191 grams, and that's for CO2. I need to convert this to moles, so it's 44.01 grams per mole from the periodic table. That's moles of CO2. Then I have one mole of carbon for one mole of CO2. That means there's one atom of C in every molecule of CO2. And then uh, this will give me moles. So that would be moles of carbon. I'll eventually want to take one more step, though. And so I'll want this number. But I'll want to take one more step, multiply by 12.01 grams per mole. And this will get me the grams of carbon. Both numbers will be useful later. Okay? I'm going to do, well, Gordon, I guess, is calculating this. I'm going to do the same thing for water, identical to what I'm doing right now. 0 0.1774 grams. This is for water. Same thing. I need the molar mass of water to go to moles of the compound. 18.02 grams per mole from the periodic table. Now, I don't want moles of the compound, I want moles of the atom that I'm interested in. In this case, hydrogen. Two moles of hydrogen for every one mole of the molecule. In other words, there's two hydrogens in every H2O. This will get me to moles of hydrogen, which is helpful, but I want to also take one more step times 1.08 grams per mole of the hydrogen atom, and that will give me, now I have mass and moles of carbon and hydrogen respectively. Is this set up okay? Yeah. Okay, let's put in the numbers. Uh, did you calculate any of those? Oh, uh, I calculated the moles of C, it's moles of carbon, it's 0 0.0141 moles. So 0 0.0141. Yeah. We're going to multiply that number by 12. Shouldn't it be a uh, 4 sig figs? Because um, of the, the only given is. Oh, that, right, that's yeah. fair. Yes, that's fair. So, so 0 7. But the next number is a 7? 0 7. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. 0 7. There we go. Just barely fit it in. So now we need to. Uh, multiply this by 12.01, we get point zero point uh, one six, really nine zero. And probably on a test, I'd want to keep a couple more digits in my calculator, but we'll just stick with the four sig figs. Hi, come on in. Okay, now for the next one, we're going to do the same thing with water, point one seven seven oh seven seven four times, or uh, divided by 18.02 uh, times 2. 
So I got 0 0.0 1969. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Times 1.08. And I get zero, almost the same number. Zero, I gotta write really tiny here. 0 0.01985. Okay? So I got the mass and moles of both. Now, um, I can just check, but what should these two numbers add up to right here? 0.18. Yeah. You got it. It looks like that's right. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? That there's no oxygen. There's no oxygen in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've just confirmed. Now, if these two numbers didn't add up to this number, the leftover mass is the oxygen in the molecule. All right, so we got that. Uh, let's get the percent of carbon uh, because that's what they want to know. So I don't want to erase anything I've underlined yet. The percent carbon, the percent mass of carbon, will be the mass of carbon, 0 0.1690, divided by the total mass, 0 0.1888. And I'm going to multiply this by 100. Let's see what that turns out to be. And then I'll do the same for hydrogen also. So 0 0.1690 divided by 0.1888 equals, looks like 89.5, 89.51%. Looks like I have four sig figs everywhere, so I'll keep those four sig figs. Depending on how you round it, that fourth digit might be a little off of mine, but that's fine. Uh, then the percent for hydrogen, same deal. You get the mass of hydrogen. It's over there, 0 0.01985 divided by the total, 0 0.1888 times 100. Let's see what that is. So 0 0.01985 divided by 0 0.1888 equals, this is going to be 10.51%. And you can see essentially those will add up to 100%. So that's good. We're all on the right track. So that's the percent mass of carbon and hydrogen. Next step they want is the empirical formula. Let's try that. I need to erase a little bit. Ooh, I guess, oh, I will erase this, I suppose. Well, now you need the mole so everything else yeah. can really go. Yeah, I have the mole, so I'm pretty set. Carbon. Uh, 0 0.01407. Let me label this a little better. This is X from the, what I just erased. It's the subscript for carbon, and this will be the subscript for hydrogen or Y. So I've really got to my answer. I'll just need to do one more step. So HY is 0 0.01969. Got to figure out which one's the smaller one. It looks like that's for hydrogen. Uh, let's, oh wait a minute, that's carbon, the smaller one, right? Uh, so 0 0.01407, 0 0.01407. Okay, let's see what we get. You get a 1 and 